Hello everyone. And before you mistake this for the YouTube weather channel, this is not. I am not a weatherman. I do not claim to be a weatherman. I am merely updating my viewers on my channel and the possibility of me not uploading videos if I go to work doing some storm recovery. But since I am talking to you about this storm, I would like to share some knowledge I have obtained over the last few years when it comes to hurricanes. But before I get to that part, I know this is getting old and I'm starting to sound like the boy who cried wolf because this is the third time I believe I have uploaded a video letting my viewers know that I could possibly be going to work and slowing down my channel uploads. I guess I put that the right way. Again, I'm looking at possibly going to work once this Hurricane Milton develops and once it hits Florida. No guarantee I will. All part of the process is you apply for these jobs and if they call you and hire you, you go to work. If they don't call you, of course you don't go to work. So that's where I'm at right now, waiting on a phone call. Let me see. So once again, as I stated before in the previous videos, if I do go to work, doing some storm recovery work. That means that I will be uploading less frequently than I have been doing in the past. So please hang with me, folks. The channel is still alive and kicking. It's not going nowhere and I'm not going nowhere long-term. Uh, if Once I go and do this job, I will be coming back to continue my YouTube channels. And I emphasize channels, plural, because I'm talking about two channels. So. If you see this on the collector's channel and you're wondering, hey, what's going on? Why is this guy talking about the weather? Now you know. That's why I'm talking about it. I just want to update my viewers to let them know I'm still here. And for the car slash outdoor channel, same thing applies. If you wonder why I'm talking about the weather, this is why. I don't want you, I don't want to lose my viewers, the few that I have. I don't want to lose them. Okay, so I have to keep y'all updated. So you don't think that I've abandoned ship and just just uh, abandoned the channel. That is not the case. Okay, now, and I want to share some stuff. If you don't want to hear this part, you can just stop the video here. I just want to share some stuff I've learned. I've been tracking storms since 2017 when Harvey hit Texas. Okay, I believe it hit Texas and went on up to maybe do some damage in Louisiana. I can't remember for sure. But that's when I started, and that's when I started doing this type of work, doing this hurricane storm recovery work. And this here, I wish I could change this picture. Let me see if I can. Okay. All right, now I think this is from a few days ago before Milton had crossed over. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, any of you weather guys, I believe that Milton... Well, it wasn't named Milton at the time, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm just going to call it Milton. I believe Milton started here and crossed over Mexico and formed into, I think it's a tropical depression. Now, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm no weatherman like I stated at the beginning. So I just like to keep track of this stuff. I ain't trying to be an expert on the weather or anything. All right. So it crossed over Mexico and it started to develop and get stronger here. And... I believe this is the first time in a hundred years that a storm has come, has developed here, or actually developed in the Pacific and crossed over and now it's developing and getting stronger in the Gulf and it's coming from the West going toward Florida. This is the first time I can remember this happening since I've been tracking storms. And so I think they're calling this like a once in a hundred year event or something like that. At any rate, for, to me, this is amazing. And I've been watching these storms for years and it's always it's something, but this is the first time I've seen this. And to me, it's really amazing that this is happening. But most of the time, 
they do come from the Atlantic. They come off of Africa. They get get into a frenzy over here in the Atlantic, build up some speed, and you know get all their energy going, and they just come in and do their thing. And another one came up from here. What was that? Helene came up from here. I think it was Helene. There's been so many lately, but I believe Helene developed down here, came up through here and hit. That was the first time I had seen that too. But from what I understand, this happens quite a bit. I guess I just haven't been paying attention. As a matter of fact, this one here, and like I said, this is a few days old. So this is dissipated. I believe, I think it's going away. But this one was, uh, they thought this one was going to develop into something and follow Helene and come up, but I don't think it is. But that's it, folks. I just wanted to talk about this briefly. I really find this stuff fascinating. Let me see what else here. And I would like to uh, give you a word of advice. Again, I'm no weatherman. I'm not telling anybody what to do, but I would keep my eyes and ears open and keep an eye on this thing because these are nothing to play with. You never know where exactly they're going to go. They do these predictions, and right now they have it going somewhere between here and here. But this thing could turn and go here. It could turn and go here. They have a good uh, idea of where it's going, but if you down there, folks, just be careful. Uh, these things are nothing to play with. All right, that's it, folks. Before I start to sound like a weatherman, which I'm not, thanks for watching, and thanks for supporting the channel. And I am not going anywhere long term, folks. So please hang in there with me. If I leave, I will be back. Thanks for watching. Bye.